Hi, Scott Doan here at Marine Max of Dallas, and we're gonna take a look at a Harris uh, 230 Solstice in a 2021 uh, model. So this is the first one that we've gotten in with this dark chestnut uh, brown interior. Absolutely gorgeous. We were uh, we were waiting on this one to, uh, to come in because we knew it was just gonna be a little different than the, uh, than the uh, gray ones or stone colored ones that uh, that everybody's starting to go to. So really, really rich look and uh, and we absolutely love it. So wrap around seating up here in the front. Three cup holders on both sides and your little, uh, they call these mouse holes, the little cutouts here. What's nice is Harris started doing everywhere where you see these, you know, these mouse hole cutouts where the uh, cup holders are, you'll start seeing a double USB port in all of them. So in this case, this boat will have two, four, six, eight, Nine, uh, nine USB ports uh, plus a uh, plus a wireless cell phone charger to keep you know all those uh, all those electronics charged. JL audio uh, that are also lighted speakers as well. So this boat is going to have let's see one two three four five six seven eight interior JL audio speakers plus two uh, two JL audio tower speakers, amplifier to run the interior, amplifiers to run the uh, subs, amps to run the uh, towers. So. The, uh, the best sound system that's available from uh, really from any pontoon boat factory, uh, including uh, including Harris. So flip down armrest makes it real nice sit up here. You know if you want to face forward while uh, while the boat's moving. Nice wide ski locker, uh, plenty of room. That's actually your cover down there. If you notice down inside, you see kind of like that foam uh, matting on the floor. That's really porous. It allows water to run down through it. That'll run to the back of the. Uh, locker there's kind of a hole back in there where the uh, where a bilge pump is so if you do get water down here a bilge pump can uh, pump it out for you harris also uses a gas strut that way while you're out in the lake and the boat's you know rocking back and forth this won't come shutting down on you because without one of these gas struts you know a kid could be uh you know could be getting stuff down out of there namely you know pool noodles float stuff like that the boat can pitch and roll and this could come slamming down on someone's uh, someone's fingers which probably probably wouldn't feel that good Soft cooler bag, which is actually really, it's actually a really nice one. New uh, color matched black uh, flip up table, which is uh, which is great. That'll flip down and get out of the way when uh, you know to get off and on board the boat. Removable ottoman. This does have a nice built in cooler in it that uh, you know that'll self drain. You know when the ice melts, just stick it over the back of the boat, pull it, it'll uh, drain. I like it because you know it's heavy enough; it's not going to slide around on its own. But it's also light enough that you can just pick it up and move it, put it wherever, uh, put it wherever you like. It also fits in there really, really well. Coming back here, L-shaped bench, which is hands down the most popular floor plan in any pontoon boats anymore. The reason why it's popular is it gives you the ability to sit facing forward while the boat's moving or while you're not doing water sports, but. While you're doing water sports, you have this full width rear facing lounge, plenty of room for three adults to sit back here facing backwards while you're pulling kids on tubes, skis, you know, all the water sports you're gonna wanna do. Removable armrest with the cup holders built in that you can put, you know, wherever, uh, wherever you like. One of the things that's really great about this lounge also is that it will also fold down flat to make a full sun pad. So with the bimini top open, you know, you have full uh, full sun down here. So if you want to lay out and get a uh, get a tan or, or sunburnt in the case of Texas, uh, this is uh, this is where you can do it. You can get full shade or you can get uh, get full sun. Moving back here on the transom, really big stern deck area on the solstices. It's one of the things everybody always gets surprised at when they see this boat because they see the older style pontoons where your upholstery comes all the way to the back of the boat and there's nothing back here on the back. You've got this really, really nice area back here to help get you know kids off and on tubes, dogs in and out of the water, because uh, a lot of the action on board the pontoon tends to happen back here in the uh, back. here in the back. Nice telescoping stainless steel ladder. It's gonna reach a lot farther down into the lake than what the, uh, than what the folding ladders like a lot of other brands use will. Also has a really, really nice uh, double step on the very top. That way you know what step you're on when you're getting in and out, which is, uh, which is great. Even more popular than the ladder though, are these flip down swim seats. So that's gonna sit, you know, six, eight inches underneath the surface of the water. Great place to sit while people are swimming around the back of the boat. 
makes it a lot easier for adults to get in and out of the boat. Uh, my kids call it the potty seat, which is kind of funny, but that's that's what they use it for. And uh, the other thing also is if you go boating with dogs, there's no better way to get a dog in and out of the water than a swim seat like this, because most dogs can't really use a swim ladder, where that makes it really, really easy for them to get up on it and then jump on up in the uh, jump on up in the boat. The stern safety railing running around the back now has built-in fender holders in it. So it's really, really nice. That way you can keep these, you know, up where you can get them. You know, as soon as you pull into a dock, you just reach in, grab a strap. These are quick release clips. So you just pin right into the side of the boat, just throw them over the side of the boat. Super, uh, super easy. And because these fenders are the large oversized ones, they take up a lot of area down here in your storage. It's just nice to keep them uh, up here where they're easy, uh, easy to get to. The stern safety rail on a Harris is done absolutely the way you want your stern safety rail to be. It's back here on the back of the boat. So it runs across the back through here. You have to have stern safety railing if you want to sit back here while the boat's underway. So the advantage of the way Harris does theirs is it runs across the back of the boat. It does not come up here on the furniture. A lot of the ones you're going to see are going to have a couple rising bars, you know, come up out of here. You know, probably four of them. And then you're gonna have a horizontal bar that runs across here. The problem is with one of those safety rails, you can't sit like I'm sitting right here, which is where you're gonna to wanna to sit while people are doing things around the back of the boat. Uh, you know, with their style, you'd have to crawl up over the top, stick your legs out underneath. Now I got this bar coming out through here, so not very comfortable. The way Harris does it is, uh, is substantially better. Storage underneath here, but they were smart enough to give you this little kick up support so that now you can use this sun pad as a forward facing lounge while, uh, while people are sitting facing, you know, want to be sitting facing, uh, facing forward. If anybody gets thirsty, you have a really nice built in, uh, built in cooler back here on the back. It's fairly well insulated, so it holds ice really, really well also. Transom stereo remote down here, as well as the plug for your uh, charger. So boat does have a trickle charger on board. You can leave it plugged in while you're not in your boat. It'll leave a charge on the, uh, charge on the boat over here again another double usb port and a 12 volt plug i've got it plugged in right now just to give some bat some uh, juice to the boat so we can show the lights and the uh, and the dash which is where uh, which is where we're heading now so nice elevated helm you know, it sits several inches up off the deck of the boat it's a, it's really really nice if you have someone that's tall that wants to sit in front of the cabin seat to have an elevated helm that way you can look over top of them instead of having to always do the side to side looking at it, looking around it makes it a whole lot easier really nice nine inch simrad screen built directly into the dash uh, this one already has the map card in it so it'll give you the bottom contours of you know the depth of the lake and you'll see a little boat icon right here where our showroom is and what's nice about this is you'll see the little boat icon. It'll ask you if you want to record a trip and you can actually cookie crumb your way around, which is great if you go out at night and you, you know, fog rolls in, you need to know how you get back to where you came from. There, uh, there you go. That'll do it for you. The other thing it's also going to do for you is a down scan sonar as well as a regular fish finder. But you also have this really nice forward looking nav. And this is important because you know, depth finders are nice. They tell you how deep the water is. They don't tell you what's really important, which is how deep is the water in front of you where you're going. By the time a depth finder says you're shallow, you're already grounded too, uh, too late at that point. But if you look here, this will give you a forward looking view of where you're going. So the screen that I use when I go out boating is a split screen where I'm using overhead view on one side to let me know where I'm at, forward looking view on this side to let me know where I'm going. So just a uh, just really, really well. Uh, uh, well laid out dash tilt steering wheel of course JL audio with extra zone control so you can turn different parts of the boat up or down so you don't have to have the transom really really loud and deafen everybody back there uh, if everybody's inside the boat or more often than not the other way around if people are swimming around the back of the boat you can turn up the tower speakers turn up the transom speakers but leave the cockpit speakers turned down a little bit so it's not too loud inside the boat and it's just projecting that volume out to the uh, out to the back. This boat does have the 250 horsepower 
uh, mercury on it. It's a naturally aspirated V8, uh, so plenty of low-end power for uh, pulling uh, uh, pulling water sports toys with a you know with a boat full of people. It is a digital throttle. Also, you do end up with a really nice uh, wireless cell phone charger here to keep your phone charged while you're uh, while you're streaming music to the uh, to the audio system. So really really great boat for us in a new color that's going to be absolutely it's absolutely gorgeous and it's going to be so popular so if you've got any questions on this or any of the other boats that you see online pick up the phone and give us a call we look forward to talking to you soon